today is the vlog, it is the 20th I think, Sunday the 20th of January and today we are at the office because we need to get some stuff sorted out, really need to concentrate on my talking, seriously, I never get my words out. Right, so you're playing TIG with Ola. Yes, yeah, and then we're going to play Show me after. what you've got to do. So you have to run right click. Right, should I pull this light back so it's not in your way? Be careful you don't throw it too hard and she falls on her face. <laughs> Watch your head. Just now we got busted in the head with a light. Haha, <laughs> 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 you got tigged. <laughs> anyway, more of that in a minute. Just going to show you what I'm doing quickly. Aurora's just crawling around. You have to keep going. So she'll go near the radiators, but now she's after the wires. In fact, I don't think that really dates on. Oh yeah, it is. But it's not hot. Come on. This way. Come here, Mama. Come on, quick. Come on. Let's go. Come on. Are you coming? So, we've just emptied, well, we've emptied some of this cupboard now. And I've just got this out. This is a proper heater. So, it's gas. And it heats up in there. Obviously, I wouldn't have it on while the kids are here, but you'd put it on for like half an hour before anybody came in, and this would heat the room up rather than using the heaters on the wall. And this will do it like rapid rather than waiting for ages. And Aurora's just found a mirror, so she's quite happy. Where's what are you doing? Mama. Who's that in there? <laughs> Who's that, Baba? Oh, you're giving her a kiss. Are you kissing the Baba? Oh, that's nice. Hey? Oh. Oh. Isn't she beautiful? She looks just like you. Don't she? Oh, give her a kiss. Give her a kiss. Oh, that's nice. Oh, she looks just like you. Yes. She looks just like you. Yeah, she's very beautiful. Oh, hi Aurora too. How are you doing with that snotty nose? Should we go and get you some tissue? Yes. Um, excuse me. That's dangerous. You know that, don't you? But you don't care. Yeah. Oh, can you see that baby again? Boo! <laughs> Play hide and seek in here. There's nowhere to hide. Yeah, you can hide anywhere. You just woo. You can't hide in here. <laughs> She'll sail a fell holding the mirror, and I just caught it in time. Oh, see that baby's trying to push you over. Not a nice baby that one. Okay, so I've just picked Aurora Yay. up because she's just been a lot mad, you know. Anyway, we're going to empty this. Get rid of what we don't need. There's some of them giant lollipops in here. Now, I was going to throw them away, but I decided to keep them because I really thought that if I did a cake smash, they'd come in really handy if I like painted them and decorated them and I could just change them all the time because it's plastic. Um, so, I might just have a go at that and use them for Aurora's birthday party. Just see what I can come up with. Maybe. If I've got time, I'm not banking on it, but... Um, I've got most of the stuff sorted now, so I've got... Peppa Pig coming, um, it's, that's coming at 3 o'clock so we get like 30 minutes for that so I think we'll probably do eating time then and they can have like dinner with Peppa Pig which I think would be real good so I'm not too sure whether they play games or not or whether they just have pictures yeah um, and then I'll probably just do some like baby party games and stuff like that but it won't be anything over the top it'll just be like just a nice little chill for the babies and they're going to have like the soft play anyway so they'll be able to play with that as well. Why don't you? Yes. Why don't you? It's going to be your birthday. Oh. 
Mom. What? Well, yes. Why don't you get the rest of the bounty castle where they can't fall out? I was going to get a bounty castle some, oh. but I don't know. I might still get a bounty castle yet, but probably a little one. I'm not too sure. But I'll see in the week. Mm. Obviously, it's like I've got William's birthday, and then I've got her birthday. So it's just trying to arrange everything and pay for everything for the short space of time. But we'll see. We'll see what we can oh. do. Obviously, if I do get one, it would have to be tiny. They'd want bigger, but they'd be saying, oh, that would be too big. But I reckon it would have fit. It would have been really cool as well to have it near. Um, but I might just try and get that but in a smaller version. We'll see. But I think it'd be really cool just to have a little bounty castle. Because babies like bounty castles, don't they? Anyway, I've got someone coming back to the house in a minute because they're picking all the baby stuff up that I had for Aurora. Just like some clothes. Not all of them. I've kept a few bits. Um, also the play gym and the baby bath that he had, well not the baby bath, like the seat that you put in the bath, so somebody's bought that, so they're coming, they're just on the way now to come and pick that up, so I'm just going to knit back home, hand them to the girl that's coming, I think she's called Danielle, and then I'm going to come back and carry on, and then we're going to go home and have tea, so in fact we're not going to do a bit of a challenge here with the kids, doing some... Some it's some new food the cat member. Like oh, no. I forgot. I'll come back in a minute and tell well, you. I've just totally gone from the head. But um, yeah, we'll see you soon. So these are the lollipop sticks that I've kept, and I just thought it'd be a real good idea if we like did something with these and decorated them. If we could buy some like um, like what they called like candy kind of things that we could put on it. But paint this first, it'd be a really good idea that wouldn't it? And then obviously I get rid of the red and the white and then um decorate with some like ribbon so it looks like it's got a wrapper on it. Not ribbon, like tulu over the top, put a nice bow at the bottom. And but yeah, if I manage to get one done, we'll come back and show you. We'll probably video that like, actually making it, just in case any of you want any ideas so these don't go to waste. Alright, we're over at the studio. A baby Aurora has fell asleep there, but the kids are right behind me here. They're all getting ready to do a Polish taste test. So That's I went out <laughs> early this morning with Alfa and picked up as much Polish stuff as I could. It was like a Polish Isle in Tesco. So if you're Polish and some of it isn't Polish, don't be offended. It's just that it was all in the Polish Isle. So if you want to complain, send your complaints to Tesco's. So they're all ready. We're going to just lay the food out. I'm going to give it to them one at a time and then they're going to taste test it and they're going to tell us their honest opinion on it, on this Polish food. So we're going to get started a little bit different today than we normally do because the kids have been mithering to do like a challenge or a taste test. So we asked them if they wanted to do like a Polish one and they said yeah. So we're going to get to it right now. Alright. So we got some um, Polish Zaki. What Polish is kids. Polish kids. <laughs> yeah, because if Mason's left to open it, we'll still be here next month. <laughs> <laughs> you try him to like. I reckon they like pretzels. Probably, yeah, we are. I got one and a half. I think it's They're not as salty. They're not as salty. They're just better. What they like? Would it be nice to in Nutella? Yeah. Give them some flavour. So is there no flavour to it? No. No, no flavour. There is a bit of a flavour, but not. What flavour is it like? It's just slightly salty? Yes, yeah. Yeah, on the packet, it looks like they've got salt crystals on them. What would you rate them out of 10? Ten. Oh, what Vanova? You had like what? Six. Okay. You had some brilliant way of saying six. Six point two. Six point two. Why are you getting technical? It's not strictly dancing. Oh yes. We got some family jeans. Yeah. Family jeans. Family jeans. Family jeans. You are obsessed with waffle bar. It'll basically be like a pink wafer, waffle. but it'll be white with chocolate in it. Yeah. Yeah, You've had these? No, but I've I've got a feeling you don't like these. Mm. Mm. Is that a pink wafer? 
So it's a white wafer. A white wafer with a brown filling. So they, uh, I, I need like these. A nine. They're so nice. What's it going to take to get a ten out of you? What else would you need to put on that biscuit to make it a ten? More <laughs> Nutella in it. You give it a ten. A bit more chocolate. A bit more chocolate. A bit more chocolate. A bit bigger. Ten. I'll be every, I've got a feeling everything's going to be a 10 from you. Because you'd eat garbage out of the top of the cat litter tree. Even that would get a 10. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Nice. That's evil. I'm just going to say Waddell. Waddell? I'll just eat That's the maker. Right, we've got some. So this is basically the, what's in it? Hazelnuts. Yeah. So this is like the Polish version of dairy milk whole nut. <coughs> oh, so you can break it up? You can break it into segments. Just get that to do it. Ninja, I think I went out of the land. Thumbs up. Bro, that's a big peanut. <laughs> I'll get a peanut. I'll get a peanut. They're the same nuts that go into Nutella. These nuts. The chocolate's a bit weird. The chocolate's nice. These nuts. What do you think of that? An eight. Seven. Seven. The hay was no. The nut wasn't even asking him. It's an eight because of the nut. Right. If it didn't have the nut, what would it be? Like a four. So the nuts made it worse. No, wait, it's a home. <laughs> okay. Daddy. Yeah, well, it's not a Jaffa, is an orange, so it's not really a Jaffa cake, is it? It's an orange. It's like a rat cake. Mum's actually going to eat all the rest of it. They look good. These are amazing. Mum's off camera eating wafers. It has a design on the back. Oh, so you signed it on the back of it. I wonder how long it took him to, to sign it all in. It's like Perry. Do you like that, let's go. I love it. I love it. Oh, we know you'll have it. Yeah. I don't what do you think, Mace? It won't actually nice. sat there signing old biscuits. No, it would be like a I don't like that. Listen, coming from the woman that genuinely believed that, um, it, well, believes anything. Oh! That's that? Yeah. That tastes like coconut. Coconut? It's raspberry. Oh, it tastes like coconut. Do you not like that, Vanilla Pear? No. Uh, what do you give it out of 10? Two. Two. I didn't think I could eat it. So you're going to wash it down, wash what you've had up to now down with this drink. What's the 
to Germany when you was little when we went to the hotel room the only thing they had that you could eat that you could order from room service was a lion bar. <laughs> no, do you remember that? <laughs> you opened the paper thing and it just said lion bar. room service, lion bar. Do you like lion bars? Have you ever seen the set out of you? Daddy! 6.5 Daddy! 6.5 6.5 Daddy! 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 He's saving that for last to scoop it all into a pile and have a mixture of everything. What? 6 out of 10. Brilliant. This is Advocat. So this is like a Christmas drink that, that you have at Christmas. So you um, put lemonade in with it, it's called a snowball, so that looks like it's filled with advocate fondant. Snowball. You are excited for it. Mason is. I am. You're, Alf, you're excited for, for the moon. Yeah. A mint chem. A mint chem. You don't like it. Nice. You know, I'm not. Smells like it. Like it. I'm not, I'm not Does it? I'm not got a piece. Oh, Al Oscar's not got a piece. It's really, really good. It's bearing that, you know, I think you've had one too, haven't you? <laughs> Oscar, you're supposed to bite it and taste it. That's why it's called the taste test. Think of the advocat. Good, good. I'm going to tell you. This one's called Jeske. Classic. I'm not, I'm I'm not drinking that Jeske. I'm not drinking that tomato juice. I'm not drinking that tomato juice. I'm not drinking that tomato juice. Oh, no, I don't like this. It's like a picnic. Mm. It's got oh, no, no, you've not tasted it. Because it looks raisins, no, black. You won't know until you've tasted it. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Mm. You know that biscuit with the raisins in it? It tastes like that. It's like chocolate. Mm. 
point there. We're going to actually amaze yourself because you do actually like it, don't you? But you just don't want to admit that you do. Mm, that was actually nice. You finished that already. What do you think of them? Strawberry banana it tastes like apple. <laughs> Dad, I like this. It tastes like baby juice. What do you think of that? Is it very much like a tomato juice? That's the mousse version, so it's like a mousse. Can we have a soup? Oh. It's gonna come spray now. I don't know. That's like a baby. Is that? Nice wings. Yeah, it's like oh, a baby. That's not the I don't think it is a baby food, I think it is a drink. It's just if you like it. I don't want that. Smells amazing. You don't like that? I didn't even taste it, so it's going to be a quick. What's it called? Prince Polo. Prince Polo. It does look like a uh, Twix, doesn't it? I think it's going to be like a I think that's what the, Pol the Polish people like, love these wafer things, don't they? Polish people, are, their meals are meant to be real good. The food's meant to be real Looking nice. Hell. That's, that's, oh my god, you're the biggest size of like a blue ribbon? Yeah. Yeah. You like the wafers? Nice. So that got on the pitch. Look at you. <laughs> what do you think of that then? Okay, ten. Nice ten. 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 Winner! Might not be coconut. Oh, Taste it. The coconut. it might not be the coconut. So he makes it just puts it straight in his mouth. He likes to try things. I've been trying the Porsches. No, he baked us. No, I didn't. I'm going to throw my mouth. Go and look at the. It's milk. It's not a reverse. It's not a reverse. It's white chocolate. If I didn't want to eat snails. And everything else, put a little bit of coconut. I like to eat snails when I like the coconut bun. Shall I try it? Oh, coconut bun. Is it like a bueno? Like it or not like a bueno? No, like kinder? Like no. 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 It's like a kinder and a bun. So it is coconut. Yeah. It's a double wafer. This is the last one. This is the Gretzky. Probably the same thing, but milk chocolate. You know, it's probably the same thing as the chocolate. Cut it. Come here, but let me go first. No! Yeah, let me go first. Good girl. Another wafer bar. Just in case you haven't had enough wafer bars. <laughs> <laughs> What's that one like? No, no, no. 
Look at that. That looks like a chocolate wafer. No, it's just like a chocolate wafer. It looks like a chocolate wafer. It's just got dark chocolate on it though. So what's your thoughts on the Polish food, the snacks? In general, what do you think of it? Do you like Polish snacks? Yeah, I think. One out of ten for Polish snacks. Fair enough. What do you think, Portia? Out of ten. All of it. What about you, mate? What about you? What's the next snacks you want to taste for what country? I've done Australia. We haven't done American on camera. Do you want to do American? Yeah. We'll do American next then. And we'll do cereal as well with it. No, you haven't. You did. We did. Cereal. And then maybe Japanese. Yeah. Yeah, maybe we should do a different country because. I'm sick of eating American and China. Yeah, what we do, we could go, we should do American laugh. American laugh. Yeah, American laugh. Okay, guys, so you've just seen the kids do a bit of a taste test there. It was just some, um, like, candy sweets, so they just wanted to do a bit of something different. So we think we're going to try and do something like that, like, once a week. Where we do all different, we try and go through all different countries. Just one minute because I'm talking and we've had one. Just leave it there. What? No. I wouldn't say it's on. Um, yeah, so I think we're going to try and do one a week, every, like, maybe every Sunday. Just depends because we've got a couple of things on the next couple of Sundays. So we'll probably we'll be in the week, next week, the week after. Um, Next weekend, we're hoping to go down to, I forgot what it's called now, I won't mind, I was looking at it this morning. Um, but it's the oh, golf, it's the golf place. Just leave them there, because I'm going to sort it all out for, um, you tell them to leave somewhere, they still move it. Right, stop moving him, because I can't hear myself think. Anyway, I'm just going to show you what I've been doing quickly. I've got rid of so much stuff that's in these cupboards. I have to stand on here because I'm not big enough. Right, come on, I can't hear myself. Just leave them there. I'm like talking to a brick wall. Anyway, so managed to sort this cupboard out. I'm going to have another shelf put in here just because this it kind of like you pile it up, but then there's so much space and you've got you can't put it anyway. You can't just keep piling and piling. So we need to put another shelf in here. We need to get someone out to do it because I just won't be able to do it. So, I'm just going to show you quickly. So, as you can tell, like, I've tidied this out. So, everything that I need is here. So, this is off my ring light. And these are the jars I'm going to be using for um, Aurora's birthday party. And then they're just some props that I had left over from Christmas and Halloween. So, I'll just put them at the back because I'm not really going to use them. And then this is a prop, but I can just get that out as and when I need it. Then, in here, I've put all of my props... So I've got like um, folk booth props and then I've got all me backdrops for Christmas, Halloween, um, Easter. There's some in there. I'm, I've just ordered a load more which will be coming hopefully April time. Um, just because, because I've ordered them from, what's it called? I forget what it's called. It's a bit like Etsy. Um, so I've ordered them from there, but they take like 40 days. So I should imagine by the time they get here and I start using them, it'll be probably be March, the end of March, April. And then I found this, I forgot I had this, but I'm gonna use this on the table that I put Aurora's birthday cake on and I just thought it looked really cute. Also I've got these, these are just lamps that I can use, sorry, not lamps, they're umbrellas. So when you're doing a shoot, you can put these up and have the light reflecting back. And I'm gonna start using them on my cake smashes because to be honest, the big lights, I've still not got used to using them. Whereas when I use these, I kind of know what I'm doing. So, and I can set these up around the other room because I've got these other lights here and they're the newer ones. And they're, they're a really good brand. This I'm gonna put up, I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna put it in front of a birthday cake or not or whether I'm just going to use it so kids can have like um, pictures taken near it on a birthday 
this flooring needs to come out in fact I'm thinking of getting a new piece because I put this up before just to let some of the creases come out of it and I've also got like a blow um, steamer which is behind there somewhere that I'm going to get out so we can get all them creases out and it's just nice and flat and then I'm going to just um, build them up on top of each other and as I, and when I want them I'll just pull them off I'll pin them up one or the other so yeah I've just got all these here so I've basically got everything here that I need to get to like tripods these are the, like one of them things that flips out and it, hold on it makes a reflector so you've got silver on one side it's so you can shine so say the sun's out and there's a lot of shade you can bounce the light back to your subject so there's no shadowing on the face and then I think the other side is black I did think oh yeah one side's black one side's silver which is the same difference to having white it kind of works the same so yeah it just looks so much tidier now in here in these cupboards anyway when you can see but yeah at least I know where everything is now I've got this out I'm not too sure whether I'm gonna put that away though I'm gonna ask Dave to put that mirror on the wall for now and then I need to put this somewhere but I am gonna start coming in doing some fitness and probably vlogging that hopefully starting next week with a bit of luck because I'm starting a diet so yeah I wanted to really start doing like maybe one fitness video and I thought it'd be really good if we got like one of you guys to recommend <coughs> a fitness video once a week that I have to do and we have to vlog it. I thought it'd just be really good. Even if we did it not probably once a week or once a month and we just picked somebody at random who picks like a who suggests a video to do or somebody that does the video. Hopefully we'll be able to get it would have to be a YouTube video or like one that we can stream to the TV because obviously we've not got Sky in here so we can't get it off Sky and I don't know how else we get it so we would have to stream it from your phone to the TV so yeah that's just an idea if you think it's a good idea let me know I'd say in the comments but you can't so you'll have to message me on Instagram or on Facebook um, yeah if you want so the majority of everything is moved. I'm just waiting for Dave to move like all his garbage from here because you know Move it into your own space out of my space It's like talking to a brick wall um, And then I'm, I'm really in two minds what to do with this. I bought this and don't get me wrong The guy is really lovely and <coughs> the actual sorry <coughs> The actual prop is so nice The color is just disgusting. So I don't know whether to just Ask someone to dip it so it goes back to its wood or whether to paint it up myself and then use it next Christmas. So I think I've shown you this before or you would have seen it in previous vlogs but this has been painted, this should be white and gold. This has been painted with proper gloss as you can see how shiny it is. That should have been painted with a gloss, it should have been matte um, and like a stay white matte so it stayed white obviously. But yeah, I think I'm just like it to your mind whether to have a front made for it, have like a present in there next year, so all this presents in there, and then a, like a, the child can stay at the front. I'll only use it for a certain age though, and then have like a reindeer coming off it with like anklers and stuff like that. The kids are just running around thinking it's a playground, running around this circle thing. I'm surprised you're not dizzy. You don't need to lose weight. I'll tell you what Penelope did do before and I know she fell and she banged her head but it was just the way she did it like I was in stitches and laughing. So I've got this backdrop out and I put it on the floor just to like straighten it out so I could remember how big it was because I couldn't remember like how wide and how, how tall and how big it was and whether it fit on that wall. So they were playing like football, kicking it to each other, but Alfie kicked it and he went over there. So Vanilla could run and caught the the backdrop and like slipped 
right across the floor and she didn't fall and smack her head but she obviously she fell backwards and it, I think it was a shock because she just went whew, straight across the floor like so fast and I think that's what scared her more than anything else but it was so funny. I'm so gutted we didn't have the camera on and it was the thing is I was actually going to put the camera on vlogging while I was cleaning and doing that and it, I just didn't I don't know why I put the battery on charge down here and then she just done that and I thought, oh God, I so wish I would have put that camera on now. It would have been so funny to have vlogged that. Could have gone viral that as well. This is what I mean. I should have the camera on all the time because we're missing these opportunities for things to go viral, aren't we? No. Even though she might have hurt her head. But you know what? It'll only hurt for two seconds. She'll get up and she'll get over it, won't she? Oh. If you mad them too much, they just get too used to it. But these are just used to falling now. And if it, they're really hurt, they're gonna come in like cry and tell you out there. But if they're not, they're just gonna get on with it. Like, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna crack on, get some of this moved into the other room. We need to go and get it down, put in the boot of the car because it needs to go to the tip. And then we actually had this paper um, strip of kind of chewer thingy up here. It does CDs and bank cards and stuff like that. Um, so Porsche like this for her bedroom, it's brand new. So I said she could take it home and put it in the bedroom. And then when she's got like old school work, or we've got like bills that we don't need, because I just constantly like just rip my bag like statements up and just put them in a bag rather than like chewing them up. So we'll be able to do that now. Just put them all in there and feel all safe. No one's gonna get any of our details. But yeah, anyway, I'm gonna check in with you when we get home because I need to get started and get home and have a nice cup of tea. Okay guys, we've just arrived home now and I've been trying to get Aurora to walk, but she's just not having any bit. She keeps throwing a little paddy on the floor. So you've got to see this paddy, it's like the funniest thing ever. I don't know if she'll do it now, but if I can capture it on camera, I definitely will show you. She is funny, like seriously funny. But, I'm trying to get to work, but she's just having none of it. She just like sits on the floor and basically goes, no, I'm not doing it. She says, no, mummy, I'm not doing it. Look at the state, my trainers, these definitely need a wash. I'm not doing it, mama. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I've got to keep the camera off and help her because she's got undressed. Aren't she? Yes. Oh, where you going? What's she got? Oh, she's after your pizza. Pizza. What you want? You're having chicken tikka, aren't you? She's had her. She's got it up there. The um, Peppa Pig Heinz's snack, snack, snack pot or something like that. Half of it. What? Half of it. What is that on the couch? It's like yogurt. It's probably off this one. Go get it. Yeah. Yeah. Pizza. Oh. Yum yum. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Look. Look. Pizza. Yeah. Why is she doing this? She's so not wanting to. What do you want, Dave? Ah, oh, pizza. Let's go get pizza. Come on. No. Let's go get pizza. All right, then don't get pizza. Don't get the camera. All right, then show the guys. Show the guys. Come on, then. My poorly Babs says, well, aren't you? And Mummy's just annoying you. Yes. One in, go on the camera, I'll say hi to everybody. One in. One in. She's hard work. She's hard work, yeah. <laughs> oh my goodness, stop it. Oh my goodness, she's a murder. She's a murder. Alright guys, we are going to end today's vlog. I hope everybody's enjoyed it today. It's been a 
been a massive vlog. In fact, I'm not looking forward to editing it because it's around, it looks like it's going to be around half an hour, maybe even a little bit more, but it's back to doing what we, we wanted to always do, where we were doing longer vlogs. And we were also doing a, a bit more engaging content as well and the kids were more involved because the kids did want to do this taste test and they want to do more taste tests and challenges so that's what we're going to be doing in the weeks and months to come so do not forget to smash the like button subscribe if you're not already make sure you click the notification bell it does nothing make sure you leave us a comment if you can and we will see you guys tomorrow because we do this every single day